What's up guys, it's Scopes by here, bringing you some more Apex Legends gameplay. Today's video, it's going to be me. I am playing Lifeline. I'm actually going into this match solo, so I get paired up with two random people. I've been loving Apex Legends so far, super fun game. It just came out with Season 1 here and brought the Battle Pass and a new character who's pretty fun. If you haven't tried him out, I believe he's Nomad. He's real quick, he's got a lot of cool skills, but he's a lot of fun. But now we'll get into it. I want to commentate the gameplay so I can try to better assist people on how to get better at the game and give tips. So right now dropping, I noticed that guy had dropped in front of me. He was able to get to the loot before me. I didn't really want to contest that. So now I just run away, try to find a gun. I get an alternator. If I see a guy, he tries getting some shots on me. I throw a bit of shots on him, get him a bit low. Notice he doesn't have shields, so it's definitely a fight I want to take. Even though I only have an alternator and no shields myself, it's going to be a pretty even fight. He's trying to hide behind the corner and heal up, but can't do it. I'm able to actually get just a bit more shots on him and uh, take him out for a nice kill here finish him he actually just leaves the game that is why the finisher didn't go down i'm able to get a wingman here we're going to speed a little bit ahead in time i see some people out here spot a wraith i get some shots on her uh teammates actually actually able to take her out i get a bit more shots on some other people i revive this guy real quick notice there's some people trying to rush us and i'm able to get shots on him get one down one of them is able to get away i don't want to let him revive him so whenever i get one down i always want to rush in and keep them keep them on their heels so that's what i do here my teammates get down i'm able to pick him back up the life lifeline is the best person to revive you get that shield it's super clutch our guys going out making good plays getting them down holding him soft while i'm getting him i spot a bangler out i get some shots on him with with the alternator it's just got a lot of recoil i'm really not used to using it i'm not able to land too too many of my shots but i'm pushing in on this guy i know he, he makes a bad move he really has nowhere to go he rushes out and then i pick him up for an easy third kill three kills off the bat definitely how i like to start my games but we're getting right into it. We moved ahead out of that zone. I have the wingman and the R301. I have some pretty good guns. I do get behind this guy and whiff a lot of my shots. It's no real problem though. They're fighting another team, so I know it's going to be hectic. And then I'm able to actually slide back in behind this guy and get two easy shots on him. Take him out. This scene is going to get a bit chaotic here. I'm going to fast forward through all the slow parts and then mainly get to the action parts. There's a, a lot of people all around here. A few of them managed to get away. Uh, I noticed there's still another team camping back at this house right here. I really want to keep eyes on them. I think we're, we're kind of pinched right here between two teams. So it's not necessarily the greatest position. I'm really being aware of my surroundings, not trying to get uh, clumped up on a bunch of people. Spot a guy out, take a shot on him. He knows where I'm at now, which almost is what I want because I wanted to contest him. And he does. I land four nice wingman shots on him. Get him down for a nice kill here. Once again, like I said, you get someone down, you want to push him, you want to make it hard for him to get that guy back up, you want to keep the numbers advantage. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing out real hard. It works super well. I get another one down. So two two more kills right here. Not out of the uh, not out of the fray yet. I knew there was a bunch of other people here. I'm able to get some pretty good items. The legendary uh, knockdown shield gives you self revive too. Everyone was pretty stocked up here. We're getting pushed by another team. Um, I missed some of my shots. Both my team goes down. I know I'm in a sticky situation here. I really want to get them out. So I'm, tr I'm trying to play back here. Be a bit safe because I do realize that two other teams are fighting. So I take my opportunity to run in here while they're worth the fighting. Take out the last uh, last lifeline on their team. Last character. I notice this guy he gets some nice shots on me. I don't actually want to contest that at the time. He got me pretty low. I know I'm in a pretty sticky situation here. One of them decides to rush me with a pretty low health. I'm able to get some nice shots on him. I notice the other one actually runs away. He probably could have rushed me and made it pretty difficult to get me, but he chooses to get out of the storm. I'm able to pick my team teammate's banner up, revive him, get back into the storm and regroup. Always a great move to do. You definitely need your teammates in this game. There's no solo mode. Every time you're going to be facing squads, so the more the merrier. We spot some people out here. We knew it's a whole squad over here. Saw their package coming in. Saw them out. I got a bit of shots on him. My teammate goes in, takes one down. Great move on his part. Other ones are rushing in. I'm getting some shots in on the race with the Spitfire. 
missing a bit of my shots. Spot again. I mean, another guy out to my right. Get some shots on him. Switch stuns. Able to take out the raid. Get some more shots in on the Bangalore. Can't finish him off. Run around. He takes out my teammate. Don't know what he uh, the lifeline was actually doing. And I'm able to take out the lifeline too for my 10th kill of the game. Get my teammate's beacon again. Revive him back up. Now it's two squads left. I'll explain the situation here. We have to move in. We have spotted out all three of their members camping in that house. They have Havocs with the select fire, so they're really lasering us down. We're having a tough time pushing in this whole time. My strategy right now is see how they're camping in the window up there. I'm trying to get shots on them so they don't want to look out. Now I got some shots on them, got them distracted. I use that as my time to move in. Get into the positioning. I want to get in. I want to get in closer in on this house. I don't really want to be having a long distance fight with the Spitfire. I have the Spitfire R301, both pretty good closer range and long range. On top of that, I'm really waiting to make my move here. I'm waiting for someone to peek out or do something. I know we're down in teams. I see a guy peek out here. I really wanted to get some get the damage in on him, make him fluster. Exactly what I do. I take a bit more damage than I want, so I dip out real quick, get my shields back up, and then I want to get right back in the fight. I see my teammate is in the fray. He was a good teammate. He was doing a lot of work this game. He goes in, causes a lot of distraction, gets some damage down. He makes a great move. He baits them all out. They're running out. I get a lot of shots in on this guy. A bunch of them are coming in. Teammate downs one. I know both these guys are low. I don't want to let him get away. I'm getting some shots on the Bangalore. He runs away. Double checking my surroundings. Get some nice shoots on him. shots in on both these guys. Take them both out for a pretty epic ending. A nice win. I believe I get 12 kills, 2,400 damage. This was a pretty fun game. It was had a lot of action. I really enjoyed playing it. I'm really liking Apex Legends. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if I can improve my videos and if you took away anything out of it. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.